What's up? What's up? What's up? You already know. Speech, speech, speech. And I don't have the slightest idea what I'm doing. I'm trying to learn how to use this app, well, this site, so that I can go live on one device across multiple platforms. I can already tell some of the issues that I'm going to have. Like one of the issues I'm having already is that it's not in a 16 by 9 format. Instead, it's in a 9 by 16 format. So that's why you guys only have that middle screen. So next time, I got to make sure I rotate. I wonder, can I rotate while I'm live? Hold on. Let's see. Can I do a live rotate? There we go. Now that's more like it. So now we got a live rotate. Hey, Miss Stephanie. What's up, Miss Valerie? Hey, Miss Rose. Miss Kelly. So we're about to have what I like to call six-figure content creator talk. Six-figure content creator talk. When we get more people on here, then we'll go right into it. I sure was waiting, reading the lips on the other video. For some reason, the mic on my computer isn't working. I'm not sure. That happened with my last YouTube class. My mic just stopped working. I don't know if I done accidentally hit something. I tried to troubleshoot it more than once, but I wasn't able to do so. So I just had to end up getting on my phone. Hopefully everybody at YouTube on YouTube can see now like a full screen. Hey, Miss Stephanie. Hey, Miss K. So what questions do y'all have for me in regards to content creation? Not my business. Not my personal business, but content creation. Actually, let me go get a tripod. That'll make this even easier. Then I could just stand up and stuff. Grab one of these tripods. We're going to go live in a little bit when my mom comes. We're going to go live cooking. And it'll be much easier for me if we went live off of one device instead of several devices so you all can have good angles. Cause that was something we were struggling with yesterday making sure everybody had um a good angle so how's that guys how's that how much time do you put into it so when it comes to content creation how much time you put into it is going to be completely up to you it's going to be completely up to you guys it's kind of like, what exactly are you wanting to get out of being a content creator? It's just like a job. I always tell people, think about it as a, as a job. Normally, the person who shows up to work every day, they ain't using all their PTO. They come to work every single day. Those are normally the people who get promoted. So you think of it like a job. If you come to work every day, you ain't calling in sick. You ain't letting the things that's going on in your personal life stop you from coming to work. You're giving your job the best. You got that good energy. You're going to make it. So I would say if you're posting every day, you're going to grow faster than someone who's posting every week, especially if you have that good energy. And good energy don't mean you have to act like peach. It's a lot of people can't stand my personality. They say the girl talk too much. They say, oh, my goodness, you talk way too much, right? They say your girl talk too much. But there's other people that love me. So there's going to be people who love you and who hate you. But if you stay positive, stay consistent, if you're in the lifestyle niche, which is what I'm considered a lifestyle blogger, I ain't doing nothing really special. I just do everyday regular stuff. If you're in the lifestyle niche, I highly recommend that you guys post daily. Y'all don't have sound on Facebook, really? Does nobody on Facebook have sound? Can anybody hear me? Because this is an issue. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? I'm trying to see. I think some of y'all can hear me because y'all asking questions. How do you come up with a niche? Hey, be the boss. How do you come up with a niche? I would say think about the kind of videos you already like to make. Like what's something you love to do or something you love to watch already? If it's something you love to do, go ahead and make a video. Make videos doing it because you're doing it anyways. It's not going to be hard for you to come up with video ideas, okay? And then I would say there's no wrong niche. It's so many different types. I kind of don't have a niche. I'm considered a lifestyle blogger, but I do whatever I want. Y'all hear me? 
They said, I can hear you on Facebook. Awesome. The video previously, nobody could hear me. My computer audio isn't working, so I had to get on my phone. I'm trying to answer some of y'all questions. But let me just tell my story. We have 779 live viewers. I'm going to go ahead and tell my story because I know some of you guys are watching me for the very first time. And you're like, who is this girl? You just be watching my food stamp videos like the one playing in the background. Like, all this girl do is spend food stamps. How she taking these luxury vacations? Who does she think she is? I'm over here struggling with no food in my house. And I work I work six hours a week and I'm still struggling. Who she thinks she is? You know, I, I read the comments. I read all the comments. I read them. So I know how some of you guys think. So I'm just going to tell you all my story. So my name is Peaches McIntyre, but on the internet streets, they call your girl Peach. So Peach McIntyre. And about two years ago, it's been two years now, I started a YouTube channel listening to my son, who was 12 years old at the time. He kept saying, Mommy, do YouTube. Mommy, you need to do YouTube. You could be the next CJ So Cool. You can make all this money. You won't be struggling, frustrated, trying to play pay bills, you know, you could really have a good life. I can help you. I'm going to start my own YouTube channel. And I was like, boy, ain't nobody trying to hear that. So my son started a YouTube channel first, and I was trying to help him with his channel. I really wasn't into it, but I actually started watching YouTube. When I was depressed, going through a breakup with my baby father at the time, going through a breakup with him, um, just having life issues. I had a successful business, made all this money, as an entrepreneur and then i went through depression quit the business became homeless struggled financially for years did some things that were very unethical that i'm not proud of and i hated my life i absolutely hated my life but i was struggling to try to care for my kids because i no longer had section 8 couldn't get on section 8 couldn't get in public housing all of that jazz right so i finally listened to my son and i started a, a youtube channel I dropped two videos and ain't nobody watching. When I say ain't nobody watching, I mean the first video got like 100 views. The second video got 150 views. And I was just like, you know what? Ain't nobody going to watch this shit. I don't know why I listen to my son. I quit. And I quit YouTube. So I understand some of you all's frustration. When you start YouTube and you quit, you're like, oh, my God, ain't nobody never going to watch me. I quit. Peach lie. I ain't making no money. I'm only getting four views. Mm -hmm. I understand. I promise I get it. Hello. Yeah, I'm in the house. All right. So I promised my mom about walking here. Hold on, guys. We're going to have to go grocery shop. I promise I get it for those of you who currently feel that way. So I quit. But then I actually started looking at YouTube videos while I was going through homelessness. And I seen this white lady that was homeless. And she was telling other people how to overcome homelessness. She was saying, you know, make sure you don't hang out with the homeless gangs. I know they got homeless gangs. I didn't know they had homeless gangs. And I was looking at other moms who cleaned their house. Because at the time, I did not want to clean up. My mom had a cleaning business. I've been cleaning up since I was about six years old. And I've been cleaning other people's houses and schools and stuff since I was a little kid. So I did not want to clean. I was going through depression, having my own mental issues, you know, just wanting to give up on life. And then I started actually watching YouTube videos. And I've seen moms, black moms with multiple kids going through heartbreaks and still cooking food for their kids. I've seen black moms, and I'm saying black moms, no offense to the vanilla peaches, but that's what I was watching at the time. I seen black moms that I could relate to taking their kids to school on time. And I said, oh my God, these girls is killing it. Like her husband left her and she ain't give up. She kept going. Let me get my ass up and keep going. Oh my God, she got four kids and her house is spotless. Come in. And her kids are always on time to school. Let me get my butt up and get to work. You know, so those videos, hi mom. Those videos helped me out tremendously. And so I started really being consistent. And then when I seen Panther Squad bought a house, Beam Squad bought a house, CJ So Cool bought a house, I said, you know what? This is for me. It didn't matter if they were black. It didn't matter if they were old or young. It didn't matter if they had multiple kids, multiple baby daddies, no high school diploma or GED. It did not matter. So when I saw that, I said, you know what? I'm going to do this until I crack the code. I'm not going to give up. And I invested a lot of time into learning how to uh, do YouTube, buying books, taking classes, reading, trial and error, posting consistently. 
And then I became a content creator that got paid. I had finally reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. You have to have 1,000 subscribers in order to become eligible for monetization and 4,000 watch hours, 4,000 public watch hours. So I hit those two metrics and I was super duper excited. You guys can go on my YouTube channel and see when those two things happened for me and see how I was so excited about my snot book deal and I got monetized. Well, my first YouTube check, the first day I ended up getting paid, it was like $28. It was a little bit of money. But my second YouTube check ended up being 90, my second day monetized, it ended up being $98 and some change. And in the content creator world, $98 and some change plus the 20 something dollars the day before meant the world to me guys, because that means I could get a check. When you become a monetized content creator on YouTube and Facebook, you have to make a minimum of $100 in order to get paid the previous month. So like right now we're in May, and we just got paid for April. If you didn't make $100 minimum in April, they didn't cash you out. So when I seen that, I got super excited, especially because previously before that, the day before, my husband was laughing at me like, you told me to quit my car wash. You told me you're going to be a YouTube you know, millionaire. You're going to make all this money. I'm going to be able to quit my car wash and spend more time with you and the kids. And you only made $28. You've been having me not go to work for this. So I felt devastated. But that next day when he called me, I was scared to look at the money. I felt so shamed. Uh, the next day when he called me, he was like, you made $98. You really can do this. Like, I really could see the potential now. It gave me that push to keep going. So my first YouTube check ended up being 2000 and something dollars. And then that next month when I seen I could make 2000 I said, let me go even harder. And my next check ended up being 10400 and something dollars. I worked super duper hard. And my first year being monetized on YouTube, just YouTube, I end up making six figures. So I went from being on food stamps, making videos like this, shopping in Walmart with a pandemic EBC card and my regular food stamps in the wig, being on Medicaid, driving a Buick LeSabre to being where I am today. Right now I'm in my content apartment, a whole separate workspace from my home. That way I can separate my business life from my personal life and teach and not have to get hotel rooms and now my staff can come over and help me with packing orders, answering phones, responding to emails, making videos, etc. So YouTube really changed my life and you really can become a six figure content creator. After getting monetized on YouTube, I tried to get monetized on Facebook and TikTok and it just seemed so hard as well as Instagram. They all have different metrics that you must meet in order to become monetized. So I gave up on those things a couple of times. Like, forget that. I'll just focus on YouTube. And then my best friend wanted to do TikTok. She called me with her frustrations. Like, I really want to do TikTok. I don't understand. I'm like, how you don't understand TikTok? I could, girl, you could do it TikTok, TikTok either. I'll show you. And me trying to get my best friend monetized on TikTok and give her content ideas. I actually start going really, really hard on TikTok and learning more about TikTok just through uh, trial and error and my YouTube knowledge. And then I became monetized on TikTok, got over 250,000 uh, followers on TikTok to date. And then Facebook took off as well. So with Facebook, I have two Facebook pages that are really big. My main Facebook page has over 300 and 79,000 followers. I think we're at 380,000. And then my other Facebook page, we're sitting at a lovely 88,000 followers. And then on Instagram, I recently started to grow and I'm sitting at over 12,000 followers on Instagram, not to mention my many Facebook groups. I admin a bunch of Facebook groups by myself. So that is my story. I know I didn't like dive all the way into it because you and see, you know, we go from this to this. We'll see you, girl. Spending on food stamps to this easily. Now, the best part is I now teach others how to earn money on social media. Facebook is one of the one of the greatest ways to earn money on social media right now. So with Facebook, you can literally start making videos 60 seconds or less and start making money with Facebook Reels. I was one of the first content creators to make $35,000 in one month with Facebook Reels. Very, very proud of that. And then I started teaching others. So if you shop my website, peachmacintire.com, I do have my e-guides on sale for just $5. You can learn how I did YouTube and the tools I utilized for just $5. 
And then with Facebook Reels, you can learn that with my e-guide for just $5. I also have my stay-at-home and write a book e-guide. I ain't got no book close to me. This book. It's the first book I ever wrote, Stay at Home and Write a Book. e got is on sale for $5, and it teaches you how I did this, right? I make money every single month from this book, and I wrote this book in 2017. I know you got a good story in you. So that's that. I'm about to start reading some of your questions and answering them. I really need help, but I do not understand anything. Miss Katrina, if you don't understand anything, then you definitely want to either take my class. I have classes for facebook tiktok and youtube for just 15 dollars. my last live class is just 15 dollars. that's going to be on june 5th 2022 you can go to my website peachmcintyre.com shop peachmcintyre.com and you can buy your e-guides for five dollars and also uh pay for the class and come to my class it is a live class there's no recording so you must be there live let me read some of y'all comments I know you ain't lie. Just started Facebook, got invited to bonuses. I bought your e got, but didn't show how to convert friends request to follows. So you don't convert friend requests to follows. Followers just happen. They follow your reels and it just happened. You can just turn off of your friend request and make it where everybody can follow you. With my e got, I wrote it when Facebook reels was just you know becoming out. Most people didn't know about it. So a lot has changed. If you want to stay up up to date with what has changed with Facebook, join my Facebook Reels with Peach Facebook group. That group is currently 109 to join, but if you pay during the live, you can join for just $39. It gives you access to other content creators. They all want to see you win. That's Facebook Reels with Peach. Can I write a book? How can I write a book? So you can write a book by purchasing my e-guide. All you got to do is sit down and invest time and write it and then in my e got i teach you how to publish it etc and this is really easy all i paid to do this was 26 dollars, guys 26 dollars, and i'm telling you how you can do it for just five shop peach mcintyre.com if i wanted to oh these comments coming fast hold on where is the comment i done lost it they coming so fast so what's twenty five hundred dollars $2,500 is my mentorship. People are always begging me to mentor them, and I always say, I don't got time. When I do the numbers, the, the money don't add up. So recently, people keep asking, so I decided that I would take five people under my wing for one month, starting June 1st, for $2,500 per person. So five people, $2,500 each person, only five, capped at five, and I would teach them for one month. I'm going to teach them whatever they want to learn. Everybody's goals are different. I have people who come to me because they want to start online businesses, e-commerce. I have people that just want to write books. I have people that just want me to be their mindset coach. I have people that want to be content creators and they want to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So with my $2,500 mentor program that I'm doing in the month of June, you get to work with me in a group setting of the five people that I have. So all five of them will work together and then you still get four one-on-ones with me and you get assignments to complete. The goal with that program is whatever they, whatever goal they're trying to reach, my job is to help them reach it. And most of them just want to learn how to make more money, whether it's through book writing, content creation, or owning their own business. Because not only am I a six-figure content creator, I am also a six-figure business owner. Um, also, if you don't, if you can't afford $2,500, like, oh, that's too high. high. Everybody want to write, oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. That's too high. We don't have money like that. We're struggling. Forget, most of your followers are broke, first of all. Most of the people that follow me aren't broke. You're broke. You, 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 you're broke, which is why you need to go ahead and invest in my e-guides and in my $15 classes that are more economically priced for your budget. If you can't afford a $5 e-guide or a $15 class, why would I even work with you? That means you can't even afford to have the time that is needed to do what I'm going to tell you to do. This, Those services are for people who already make money. I have people that pay me for things and they're already millionaires. I have people that have made, like one of my one-on-ones I did before, she made $18,000 in a month through Facebook Reels. She found out about Facebook Reels through me. So she said... You know what peaches i feel like i owed you that i owed you that because if it wasn't for you i wouldn't even make the eighteen thousand. so she had no problem 
putting up the money. At the time, my one-on-ones were $969 an hour, and I was booked every single day for one-on-ones. And then I increased my price to almost $10,000 so we wouldn't be doing one-on-ones every single day. I have other things that I do that produce income for me. I could sell classes and make $10,000 like this. So why would I work with you one-on-one -on -one for $100? That don't make sense. I could make $100 just selling e-guides every day. I could sell e-guides every day and make $100. Why would I just work with you one-on-one, -on -one, giving you my undivided attention and all of my knowledge for just $100? It doesn't make sense, guys, from a business owner standpoint. And when it comes to you guys feeling like I should do charity, like some people feel like they made me. Like, oh, I made you. If it wasn't for us, you wouldn't have nothing. You'd still be stuck on food stamps i see your little comments when it comes to that you help make a lot of creators beyonce in the studio teaching your ass how to uh do music for free and you made her rich kevin hart ain't letting you get on stage and do comedy with him for free he won't even teach you how to book no venues for free other content creators aren't teaching you for free so why should i also when it comes to me charging that's my gift that's my gift. God awards you for your gifts. I don't have to do nothing illegal or unethical to take care of my family because I use my God-given gifts and God gives me a life of abundance and peace. I made my first $2.40. I'm too excited. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Who do I speak with if my Reels music feature is not working? I'm not sure you could shake your phone and try to contact support. It's so many comments, y'all. They're coming so fast. I'm so sorry. Oh, they're coming so fast. It's that y'all lazy. A lot of people are lazy. Listen, when you broke, if you can't afford to pay somebody because you broke, invest your time. Normally, broke people have time. So if you don't have money to invest into learning from me, then invest your free time watching my videos. I have a lot of live videos where I give out free information. There's other people who teach videos for free. You can watch them on YouTube. You're going to have to watch the commercials. In the videos, and that's how we make our money from you watching commercials in the videos. So people love to be like, oh, such and such teach for free. Go watch this video. Nope, it's not free. They put the workout because they were able to put ads on the videos or in hopes that they were able to reach those 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours, and put ads on the videos so they could make money. A lot of those people that you watch that are teaching you are also six-figure content creators. They're just giving out the knowledge for free. What I will say is, the knowledge that they give you isn't as great as what I give. Like, I'm going to give you the real. I'm not going to tell you, go buy a Canon M50. This is the best camera you need. If you want to become a content creator, you need to get a Canon M50. I watched those videos, too, when I was starting out. And I went and I bought a Canon M50, and I don't even use it. People tell you these things is because we get commissions when you buy those things through our affiliate links. And I teach you all of that in my classes. Your time is valuable. Yep, it really is. Thank you for understanding. So I want to do my makeup and do lifestyle. Am I able to incorporate both of them on YouTube? Yes, you are. I would say separate them with playlists. Is the membership, hold on. Oh my God, y'all comments coming fast. Is the membership going to be monthly? No. So with my Facebook group, I was going to move on to a monthly membership for my Facebook groups, but I decided I don't have the time yet to set up the things that we need, all the disclosures and all that stuff. So I haven't done that yet. Eventually in the real in the near future, all of my Facebook groups may be uh monthly subscriptions because that would be more money for me. And I'm doing this for money. I don't do this for passion. I don't do this for I love y'all so much. I don't do this for I got a lot of free time on my hands. I do this for money. Ever since I first got on YouTube, I've always said I'm becoming a content creator for money. Y'all see my hat? What hat was that? That was a get out your films and get this money hat. This is one of my little famous Sam's Club videos where I told everybody about getting a free Sam's Club membership. But yes, I do this for money, not for fun. That's why I do it this, the way I do. Um, But for everybody who has paid to be in my Facebook groups prior to me moving on to a monthly membership in the future, you never have to pay. 
your membership fee was a one-time lifetime thing. As far as the $2,500 mentorship, that would be monthly. It's for one month. I'm just trying it out in June to see if I even like it and see if it's something that I want to continue to do. It's hard working with a lot of people, baby. You got a handhold, a lot of handholding, and it might not be worth my money. Is it too late to join your Facebook Reels group? No, it isn't, Samaya. It's $39. Cash app dollar sign. This is Peach, and you can join. How do we join your Facebook Reels group for thirty nine? Let me go ahead and make a post. Use my other phone. Make a post. Mama, do you want to go ahead and go to the grocery store and get whatever? So what you gonna do? What you gonna what do you want to cook? What y'all want my mama to cook? She was talking about cooking some homemade shrimp pasta. I think that's what we should make instead of the baked potatoes because we're gonna take too long with the baked potatoes. Oh, she wants to bake potatoes. You know what I'm saying? What you want the pasta? Or you want? We can do both. You no, know, we got to do one one day, one the next day. So okay, that's so that's fine. Do you have to have an LLC to get paid on reels? No, you do not have to have an LLC or S corp or C corp. That's up to you how you want to sell, uh, set up your business. So we get paid by 10.99 regardless regardless you're going to get a 1099 you do not have to have a business license you would just use your social security number you could do a llc a s corp a c corp a dba doing business as that's completely up to you but you're not obligated to do those things and you could change it at any time so if you start off yeah maybe i'm just gonna start off with my social i don't want to do a llc a s corp a dba or a c corp i'm just gonna do it regular as an individual and then your business grows as a content creator and you decide, you know what, I want to go ahead and start a corporation and I want to change this. I want the money to go here. You can always change it at a later date. I can't give you guys advice on what to pick because I'm not a business attorney or a certified accountant, a certified public accountant. So that's something you guys are going to have to research for yourself. They say, Mama, you're so beautiful. Thank you. I think I made five dollars. Yeah. Oh, my mama getting paid with reels now. She said she made five dollars. Let me show y'all. Five dollars and sixty cents. Hold on, let me flip my. Can I flip the camera on here? I don't know if I can flip it, but she done made five dollars and sixty cents. Shout out to the Peach Pad. She wasn't monetized. I got my mama monetized on Facebook like this. I mean, on YouTube like this. But on Facebook, they don't be listening to me. I just talked to my best friend about that this morning. I, I've been posting, posting. You ain't been posting the right way. But I don't. I mean, I be putting tail for this and that. <laughs> She don't do it the right way. They don't listen. Even when I tell them what to go make, I'd be like, go make this kind of video. People don't listen. So me and my best friend just had that conversation today because I told her, like, she was like, she trying to get her business to take off. She don't want to be a teacher anymore next year. She do not want to teach. And I'm like, I tell you everything. Everybody in my family, everybody, like my friends, even people I meet at corner stores, I'm just out and about. I help them for free. I will sit there and get them a free in-person one-on-one. No, you need to do this, post this, that, and they don't do it. It's like the old saying goes. They say people don't value free. When you give it to them for free, they don't care about it. But when they pay, they got a little skin in the game. They take it a little bit more seriously. But congratulations to my mom. I'm happy for you. All right, tell us what to make. Okay, what kind of video should I make? We make, trust me, I will listen. <laughs> It's up to you. You really can make a video about anything. Think about what do you like. I love shopping. I have a shopping problem. It don't matter if it's the Dollar Tree. It don't matter if it's the... Okay, I got two bags of shrimp. and I think three bags of shrimp. Unless you want to get uh, shrimp from Publix. No, we don't use I got them from Sam's. They don't got the uh, skin on them. You thought that's enough? So it really don't matter. Like I love to shop. I love to gamble, baby. I love to gamble, and they love to see the spread. I'm gonna show the spread every time. They love to see it. That's my thing. Gambling and spreading. Gambling and spreading all day, every day. I have retired from education. So what should I start with? That's up to you guys. Okay. No, that's fine. You can go ahead. Shout out to Miss Walker. She just sent her Facebook Reels. Oh Lord. Um, Facebook Reels with Peach Facebook group, thirty nine dollar membership fee. Let me go ahead and make that post for y'all that want to join. 
And then I'm going to get one of my assistants on the back end to start letting y'all in the group while I'm already live. Because y'all is not playing with me. Hold on. Facebook. Reels. With Peach. And this is the thing. People be like, you need to be with your kids. You don't work. Y'all don't understand how hard I work. And right now, my goal is to get to the point where I'm making $2 million a month. That's my goal right now. I'm going to make this a post. So it'll be easy for y'all to join. All right, so let me go ahead and make it just $39 while I'm live. For those of you who want to join, I also have a YouTube group. Mm -hmm. I don't really be in there like that, but I need to be. I'll start being in there. Shout out to Miss Tiffany for uh, joining Facebook Rules with me. With Peach, make sure y'all send a membership request. Join at Facebook. Um, might be in my other wallet. It's black. No, I got a um. You see my Louis Vuitton wallet? Um. Do it for all the non-cookers like me. It's, it's no wrong way to do it. All right. I'm going to put today only. You want to be around Facebook content creators who are actually earning money with Facebook Reels. Join Facebook Reels with Peach. Today only you can join for a lifetime membership of $39. Okay. There we put it. And then I'm going to have to put the link on YouTube too. So they could join. I always tell people this. Prepare yourself for success. What's going to happen right now, guys, like just starting off, if you stay consistent, you're going to have a lot of good problems. Like your business is going to start going like this, and you're going to need to... So make sure you start off right now thinking about who you would hire. Write down the traits you would want your team members to have. Like, oh, I want my admin assistant to do this, 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 this. I want blah, blah, blah to keep my kids if you don't need a nanny. If you think you're going to need a nanny, start researching about these things now. Because when your business take off, you might have good problems. Hopefully you have good problems. Look at gorgeous <laughs> I ain't not to have good problems like myself where you're so busy. You can't do everything by yourself anymore. I saw my mom last night after she cooked. I was like, mom, you know what? You should start, because she just started a catering business. I said, instead of you thinking you only got to cater events and parties, you should start a catering business for dinners for entrepreneurs with families. Because sometimes now I don't cook as much as I used to. I'm about to start back. That's another reason why we had to make sure we got a kitchen. Because my husband, husband and I both cook on YouTube. But on those nights where we're just super duper busy, I'm like, we could pay you to cook for my family. But not only cook for my family, you cook the same type of meal for a bunch of families. At least get you 10 families every night or 10 families five nights a week. And if you start off at just $100 and you got 10 families, that's an extra $1,000 you make every single night. And you just do quarter pans of this, this, this. And all the families got to do. It's served on the plates. It's already done. You ain't have to make a bunch of different meals. Or you can even come do their weekly meal prep. Where you come over, you meal prep all the meals for the families, put it in the refrigerators, and then all they do is pop them in the oven. Pop them in the oven. You can do weekly meal prepping for the entire family. That way, people who are busy entrepreneurs, they'll be okay. Let me lock my door. I'm going to get back in for my question. I know how to talk, so sometimes I don't even look at the comments. It ain't purposely ignoring you. It's me really knowing how to talk and not needing to look at comments because I know how to talk. Um, if you like this video, be sure to hit a like you like for your girl. Excellent idea. Thank you. I always be giving out good ideas, child. It's easy for me. I need to do a cooking class and include my kids. They actually offer those at the YMCA. My family and I are doing those. I just signed us up for those, not because we don't know how to cook, but just because 
I want to do some cooking at the wild with the kids with an actual nutritionist and let them have fun outside of the house. But I already be cooking with my kids. Where's the link? The link to my group. I just posted it as a comment on my page. Let me post it in the live. Hold on, guys. Some cooking at the wild with the kids. Comment mm -hmm. at Facebook Girls with Peach. Y'all have to cash app the payment. And when you cash app, please make sure you send it to my cash app. Dollar sign this is Peach because there are a lot of people with fake cash apps. Um Please, Peach, can you record the class on June, please? No. I record every class. Every class I've ever done, I have it recorded. However, we do not give out recordings to anybody. If you're late, you're not getting a refund. We're not starting a class over. You're not getting a recording. If you um, don't come because of an emergency, we don't give refunds. We're not getting a recording. It is a live class. After this, class my last live class i'm going to start to offer a recording so if you can attend no worries in the very near future mm -hmm. in june you'll be able to actually buy a recorded class and mm -hmm. watch it at your own leisure and it's going to be a class without other people in it it's just going to be me recorded live teaching you everything but just for uh i just don't like that like privacy reasons giving out recordings with other people with questions their personal information their photos everybody don't want to be known i can't do that i don't see the link the link oh on facebook let me put it on i mean youtube let me put it on my community tab let and then we're gonna be cooking live i really wish i could get this computer volume to work but it'll work from the phone that's fine Alrighty, and then at Facebook, Rose with Peach. And you guys have to have Facebook to be in my group. If you don't have a Facebook, don't join my group because you're not going to be able to access it. It's a Facebook group. And when you come to my classes, you do not have permission to record me. Okay. Can you do small? Can you do small groups where we pay and ask questions? No. No, yes and no. So with my classes, when I do classes that are on sale, I normally have a lot of people. Like when I did my $33 birthday class, um, I had like a thousand people pay for each class, and I had between nine hundred and 600 people show up to the classes. So the classes were packed. So you couldn't ask me a lot of questions and I couldn't give you a one-on-one -on -one experience. But my class after that, we only had 41 people pay when it was $89 and they got to get a little bit more intimate. When I do classes, that's $369. Then it's really a little bit of people. I do a $369 class. I might have nine or 10 people come. And they really get that one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I spend time individually with each one of them. But moving forward, I'm not doing live classes at all. Everything will be pre-recorded moving forward. I would not offer live classes at all unless it's what I'm doing right now, which is mentorship. Peaches, ask your mom about a pan of oxtails and turkey wings and the price. Ooh, baby, that's going to cost an arm, a leg, a foot, a face. An arm, a leg, a foot, a face. Because oxtails is high. Hey, girl, I'm still a fan, girl. I, hey, y'all. Hey, Miss Tracy. The phone is a good device. Yep, the phone is good. Because I paid for the live class multiple times and I forget some parts. Then purchase the e-guides. The e-guides just $5 and it tells you everything that I do in live. It's just not as in-depth because when we live, somebody might have a question that leads us to a whole other place. Or when it comes to editing, I edit live in the classes. So, unfortunately, with with my e-guide, I couldn't go over editing in depth like I do in a class. But, yeah, it'll be a recorded class coming soon. Can you send me, can I send you some of my products? No, ma'am. At the moment, I don't accept products from people because I don't offer promo. Shout out to Miss Tammy for joining Facebook Rules with Peach. 
Um, shout out to Miss Katisha Ryan for joining Facebook Rules with Peach. Make sure you guys send your membership request to the group. We have a questionnaire. It's going to say, did you pay? Select yes. Let me make daddy let y'all in. Hold on. If he answered, he was washing his car. I bought your class twice and purchased all your e-guys. Thank you. Hi, Peach. When you start selling recorded classes, do you possibly know about how much they would be? No, I haven't decided on the price point at the moment. But you, you're not going to uh, be able to purchase them anytime. It'll be like a one purchase date. And I'm going to release them all on the same date. But we haven't came up with a price point yet. This man probably still washing his car. Yeah, he's still washing his car. I might have to uh, do it myself, or you guys might just have to bear with me. My family and I also lived the same lifestyle you did before becoming a six figures. So we know how hard it is for you back in the day and for your family. Okay, life was hard. <laughs> life was easy as hell. I loved that lifestyle i felt like i was rich i lived in a nice condo a nice condo in a predominantly white neighborhood in citrus park my baby went to an a plus school i was straight okay when i had graduated from the family self-sufficiency program without financial literacy because i had money but i didn't know about saving money my account used to always say you acting like you hit the lotto just because you got money don't mean you can get all your money away to this person, that person. You're acting like you hit the lotto. So when that happened, I wasn't um, financially prepared. And I wasn't mentally and emotionally prepared. So that's how I kind of went into depression and quit and lost it all. But when I didn't have um, housing assistance, no Section 8, no hood housing, no public housing, and I just had food stamps, it definitely was a struggle. Because even though you got help with the food, you still got to come up with money for the rent. Versus when you got Section 8 public housing or something like that, you could not work and your rent is paid, your lights are paid, and you got food. So that life was easy. I got family members still living like that. They love it. It's a luxury life. I have a post that went viral. Let me read it to y'all for those of you who may have never heard it. I'm going to reshare it, actually. Everybody still this post. But this is my own life experience. Um, go back. Shout out to the person who just paid to join Facebook Rules with Peach. Um, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Gonna look for this post so I can read it to y'all. All right, here it go. It says, I was arguing with my cousins the other day. They got upset because I told them I never in my life want to be middle class again, ever again. I want to be either low income or rich. My cousin got upset. Shout out to Miss Anna, Anna J. Lee for joining Facebook Reels with Peach. Make sure you send your membership request and answer the questions. Let me read this again because my husband be like, girl, you be all over the place. I was arguing with my cousins the other day. They got upset because I told them I never in my life want to be middle class ever again. I want to be either low income or rich. My cousin got upset and asked, what type of ignorant shit is that? You rather be low income than middle class. I replied, see, I have been all three and I have come to realize that being middle class is the hardest. When you are low income, you can get food stamps, Medicaid, WIC, Head Start, Early Head Start, housing assistance, and so much more. When you are rich, you don't need food stamps because you have money to buy whatever you crave. You can afford health insurance or just go to the doctor and pay out of pocket. Your children can go to the best child care centers and schools because you can afford it. You can live comfortably and not stress about paying bills, okay? But when you are middle class, you don't get shit but struggle. You can't get food stamps because you make too damn much, but you are constantly choosing between food, gas, lights, and rent. 
you are always robbing Peter to pay Paul and you can't ever seem to get caught up. You can't afford to get sick because although you have health insurance through your employer, you must you have to pay a damn deductible just to be seen, but you can't afford it because you need food. So now you home on Google trying to self-diagnose yourself. And although you feel like shit and still have to get up and go to work, because if you lose your job, Section 8 nor Hood ain't going to pay the rent and you and your children will be homeless. You don't even want to go to the hospital, even though when you feel like you are about to die, because you don't want that $3,000 hospital bill on your credit. And you still can't afford to pay the doctor the 150 to be seen. So you suck it up and go to the hospital. You have to worry every single day about who's going to watch your kids because ain't no telling what kind of mood grandma or baby daddy in today. But you know you got to work because the rent or mortgage is due. Life is hard as shit, but I swear after experiencing all three, being middle class ain't for me. You got to pick, earn less money or earn more money. If not, you're going to be stuck in a real struggle forever. They rolled their eyes at me like I was stupid. But y'all, low-income people be doing 10 times better than most middle-class people I know. Like, how the hell you get food stamps and your child still gets free lunch, but the middle-class family can't get food stamps and they have to pay $2.35 every day for school lunch. They already struggling to keep food in their home. Hell, the ones with food stamps should have to pack a lunch. I still feel this way. I still feel this way. How come the low-income family gets to send their child to daycare for less than $25 a week while the mother doesn't even work, but the middle-class mother worries about the safety of her child all day while she works because her child is with whatever family member who could and would watch him because she can't afford $150 a week child care expense. So those of you who are currently low-income, y'all better cherish that shit and be wise with it. To those of you who are rich, y'all better spend that money wisely and save it. To those of you who are middle class, I'm praying for you. I hope you all become and stay rich because being middle class is hard as shit. So a lot of people was mad about that post. They was like, a lot of people agreed with it. But a lot of people also said, that's not middle class. That is the working poor. That is the working poor. Well, working poor, if that's what you want to refer to it as, I feel for y'all, I never ever in life want to be middle class and no motherfucking struggle where well, I got to pick between lights, food, rent, car insurance. I never want to live like that ever again. I either want all the government assistance I could get or I want to be at a point where I don't need any any assistance at all. That's McIntyre. Any assistance at all. We got a super chat. Shout out to Miss Donna Marie for the super chat. Thank you, girl. You ain't have to do it, but when you do it, we appreciate it. I'm going to re-share this post, but this post has gone viral. Hold on, guys. My baby calling. Hello. Hey, pretty girl. Ooh. You look cute. Let me call Auntie Drill to come get you. You look so pretty. I'm going to call Auntie Drill. Thank you, Miss Brenda. All right, so Gorgeous Hair just got finished. Let me call my sister and pay my sister to go get her. And that's the thing. I have to pay everybody for everything. I'm happy I can afford to do it, but that's how this works. Everything you see, like when I'm getting help, I pay for the help. I pay for it. It's not just somebody helping me. Hey, Drew, can I pay you to get gorgeous? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Alrighty, so let me pay for gorgeous hair. I had to pay my sister for going to get her. Can I do the 39 when I log off of here? I am, I'm enjoying the conversation. Yeah, Miss Ebony, you can. Yes, ma'am, you can. Make sure y'all send y'all membership requests, guys. to the group after you pay. So we gotta send the money for gorgeous hair. And then after we send the money for gorgeous hair, we gotta send money to my sister as well. Yes, it's scary if you're on low income as myself for the disabled child, but I know I have to go hard, especially when monetized, because once I start making money, ain't nothing about, hold on. 
Because once I start making money, ain't nothing about going back to it. It's hard for sure. It's scary. If y'all can watch the video when I got kicked off food stamps, the video will say, my subscribers got me kicked off food stamps. So basically, I'm telling you guys, I done started making too much money. I'm no longer eligible for food stamps. That was a very scary experience. Not only because I was losing my food stamps, but because I have been self-sufficient before. It was a time in my life where I didn't get food stamps for three whole years. I didn't get any food stamps for three entire years. So, for Facebook Rules with Peach and Miss Nikki Johnson, for fan, paying for Facebook Rules with Peach, please make sure y'all send a membership request and answer the questions because we do verify that payment was received. Um, oops. Sorry, y'all. So, that was extremely scary for me when I went through that. But I'm happy I did it. The fear of losing your government assistance can sometimes keep you trapped and you'll wake up and you'll be 50 fucking years old and still on food stamps, Medicaid, struggling, all because you let fear stop you from being great. When you could have been a multimillionaire if that was your heart desire, if that was what your heart desired, you could have been a homeowner. You could have really went back to college and became that nurse you wanted to be. Don't let fear of, oh my God, if I get off of this, how how am I going to make it? You can always get on those programs later. Unfortunately, the housing is the hardest part to get back on, but food stamps, WIC, Medicaid, cash assistance, child care assistance, you can always get those things at a later date. So don't let fear keep you in bondage and don't lie. Do not lie to try to stay there. I won't lie to try to stay on food stamps. I won't lie to try to keep getting child care assistance. You know, you just have to make the right decisions. When I got off the child care assistance that month when I made the ten thousand four hundred and something dollars, I instantly became no longer eligible for food stamps, no longer eligible for uh Medicaid, WIC, all that stuff stopped like this. Even child care, I had school readiness. So when that happened, I was no longer eligible for those things. So I had to pay for child care out of pocket. Man, I was so proud. I was so proud of myself to be able to go pay for childcare out of pocket again. It was like, I was so happy. I used to make YouTube videos every Monday morning and going to the Wawa gas station, taking out the money, go to M. Scott, get the money orders, sign them and go pay. I was so happy about it. I worked so hard to become self-sufficient again. I always wanted more. I don't want to stay stuck with nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with being on those programs if that's what you want to do and you're mm -hmm. scared. I completely understand because I've been there. And it's a great life because not everybody with Section 8 live in the hood. I'm telling you, I had me a night. I'm going to upload a picture. My kids' rooms was beautiful. They had decorated rooms. We had a bunch of food. We had nice cars. You know, I was living a life. So I understand how that is, you know, especially if everybody around you and everybody in your family like that. But if you desire more, don't let having that stuff stop you from seeking more. Go ahead and go get more. It's okay. Go get more. I understand that me getting out of food stamps scared me, but I felt free now because of the life. God, these comments coming fast. Because of the life I had to start all over again. Yeah. So my second time getting off food stamps this time, it was super scary because I thought about God, I don't been, you know, successful before. I've had money before and been self-sufficient. Hello. Yeah, you still watching the car? Oh, okay. Can you let people into the Facebook group? Facebook Reels with Peach. I'm on live. My mama will be back in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Why you miss me? Wanna kiss me? All right. Anyways, um, so yeah, I like him a lot, a little bit too much sometimes. Let me read some of y'all comments. So it's super scary because I was thinking like, I already know how it feels to fall, and I almost didn't want to fly. I felt like. Instead of me flying, I would rather just 
make myself small, humble myself, make myself small and just stay here where I'm comfortable. I can afford my rent. I can, you know, have food stamps. I can get Medicaid. I got childcare assistance. I could stay small and be okay. It's safe. Because if I keep trying to be great, my destiny is unknown. I don't know how much money I'm going to make. I don't know how long the success is going to last. Everybody keeps telling me, oh, your full 15 minutes of fame going to be up soon. You ain't going to make it. You dumb. You know, people saying stuff like that. So you get a little bit scared. And I've already failed before. But then I just thought about it. I talked to my best friend. She reminded me those programs will always be there. You, you know, you can go out. It's up in housing. I know housing ain't going to always be there. But you can go out here and you can fall flat on your fucking face. And guess what? You still going to have child care assistance, cash assistance. Food stamps, those are temporary programs to help you until you become self-sufficient again. It's not a lifetime benefit. It shouldn't be a generational benefit, right? So I have to remember that. And then JT, who does who did my hair at the time, my friend JT, he was like, you never going to be broke again. You're not going to fall. There ain't nothing but the devil trying to come. He comes to lie. He comes to steal and destroy. You got this. Like, he, like, really big me up. And go get that iPhone. Because I was so scared, y'all, of messing up my credit. Like, I had made bad decisions. I had destroyed my credit. I had a bad payment history of paying people back. And I had finally fixed all that with credit repair. I finally fixed all that. But I was so scared to go get anything with a payment again. Like, I'm so scared that I'm not going to be responsible and responsibly pay my bills like I'm supposed to, my phone bill, and then my credit going to be messed up again. I'm going to be right back at square one. I don't have two cars repoed at once. That's another reason why I always be buying stuff cash. I'm like, uh-uh, that's mm -mm, mm -mm. So that's another reason why I buy stuff cash. But, um, you know, he just, he encouraged me, and I ended up paying off my iPhone. Now, I bought me a couple more iPhones, and I bought them cash. But look how great I am now. So a uh, little, almost two years ago, almost two years ago, I was just like many of y'all watching me. I was scared to get out food stamps, scared to be great. Nobody in my family supported me. They watching now. Some of them watching me right now while I'm live. They didn't support me. They wouldn't subscribe. My own mama wouldn't subscribe to my YouTube channel. My own mama wouldn't buy my book when it first came out. When I first wrote this book, and I'm so proud, and I got copies, and I'm like, y'all want to buy one of my books? The only person that bought my book was my auntie, Nene. Other than that, ain't nobody in my family bought my book. My cousin Tiny stole it from her. My own mama wouldn't buy this book until it got, somebody was like, oh, I seen your book in Barnes and & Nobles, and sent the picture, and it was celebrated. And she finally was like, I want to buy one of your books. I'm her daughter. And somebody might be like, why you get her the book for free? Because invest in me. If you feel like I'm so great and you want to support me, invest in my business because I feel that way about you. If you're my friend, I'm going to invest in your business. I'm going to pay for your stuff. I'm not going to ask for a discount. If anything, I'm going to leave you a tip. You know, invest in your friends' businesses. If those are genuinely your friends. When people do my hair, I pay them. They don't do my hair for shout out. Even my best friend, when I call my best friend for advice for my business or even a mindset for her to tell me to get my damn head back in the game and I come too far, mm -hmm. I pay her $100 an hour. She talked to me as business, $100 an hour. She be like, you know, you ain't have to pay me for that. I'm your friend. You ain't never got I said, well, you don't have to pay me for it. Your advice is phenomenal. When you give me advice and I apply the advice, my money go up. You should be charging everybody for this advice. I believe in your business this much. Guys, charge. Those are your natural gifts. Her analytical skills, her ability to just like take the emotion out of stuff. I'm emotional. Sometimes I want to run off of emotion. My best friend has the ability to take emotions out of stuff because she truly don't give a crap. I said, I'm going to work on not cussing so much. I love to cuss, but I want to stop preventing some of y'all from getting the message through my cuss words. Great. Yes, invest in your friend's business and they should invest in yours. Facts, I tell my cousins and sisters all the time when they do my hair or my girls, exactly. Y'all charge. Stop giving family members a discount. 
especially because with me, I'm not saying every family is like mine, but with me, I could do a million things for family for free. And then when I need them, it's not going to be reciprocated. I love the fact that I became a realtor. When I became a realtor, I learned about reciprocity. I learned that the benefit of us working together has to be a mutual benefit. It can't just be me bringing everything to the table and you just eating everything off the table. And then at the end, after you're good and full, you walk away and I have nothing. I have nothing. No, we both have to bring something to the table, make something together. And when we separate, what we created was so great that we still both left as winners. It has to have some type of reciprocity for me to be involved. And that's another reason why I don't take things from people anymore. Like before when people sent me stuff, it was cool. I needed free stuff. Y'all gave it to me. I needed it. And I opened my mail on live. So you got the exposure you needed to grow your business. So the shout out you wanted for your channel. But at the point I'm in now, I no longer do that. It would be wrong of me to take free merchandise from you that costs you money, whether it was 50 cent, $5, $20, it costs you money. And you could have gave it to somebody else who would have actually promoted that product and made you money. So some people are like, oh, you're so mean. I'm not mean. I'm being, I want you to be analytical. Your goal in giving me something, you don't just love me that much. Your goal in giving me something is for me to say I got it from you so you can generate more revenue for your business. I'm beyond free products. I don't want to work with every old company because I'm building my own brands. So I can't work with you. I can't take the free product. I don't want the money because the money not good enough for me at this current moment. My goal doesn't align with your dollar amount. So no thank you, right? But what I tell you is go mm -hmm. find somebody who will do it for you and pay them, not just no free product. I find that offensive. As a content creator, guys, especially as black content creators, you're going to get that a lot. You're going to get a lot of companies trying to give you free stuff, and they're going to want to just give you a product that costs them $0.50, cent, $5, or $10, and you're going to promote it, and that company is going to make $10,000, a million dollars. I don't make but here. They ain't never gave me shit for free. I just really like complete season. I don't probably make them people a million dollars, and I'm not even lying. I'm going to just say it. I made a buddy a million dollars in sales from my videos going viral. Everybody like, what's that season? Oh, I bought that season. I, I drove from Canada to New York to get that buddy a season and we love it. Thank you, Peach. I ain't get a penny for that. I don't want that to be y'all. So I teach my students how to not do that as well. Yes, marketing strategies. Y'all got to remember that at heart, I'm a marketer. I'm a salesperson. It's natural for me. You are truly an angel. Thank you for your wisdom and knowledge. My pleasure. Someone offered me a set of free, lash, free lashes. I post true crime. First, it doesn't uh, even align. Secondly, I can't pay bills with lashes. What's the budget? Exactly. And that's when you can send them that. You can tell them, hey, you know, thank you so much for reaching out to me. At the moment, This, these are my fees. And you tell them your fees. I'm in a lot of content creator groups and I'm friends with a lot of content creators. And I have white content creator friends that are smaller than me. And they used to get offered money. And that same company would reach out to me and offer me a free product. It's like, no, how you offered, I'm just going to say Sarah, how you offered Sarah Lee $300 and her views are less than mine and her followers are less than mine. And you're going to offer me this free product that costs you $1.25 to make. How offensive is that? That's another reason why you want to align yourself with other content creators so you can go back and ask those kind of questions. I know so much because I'm friends with a lot of content creators who are bigger than me, been around longer than me, smaller than me. I got a lot of content creator friends that I speak with in regards to these things. So I have a lot of insider knowledge. Complete and Zazan should thank you in a major way. They really should. I wish you would call me. I can't call you right now because I'm on my business phone. Come on with the five. Oh, uh, thank you. These companies have millions to spend. Don't sell yourself short. Exactly. Even nonprofits. Don't be getting caught up in the nonprofit sector. I used to work for a nonprofit and I used to grant right. Nonprofits have budgets to pay you for your services. You could donate your time if you like, and it could be a tax write-off. 
or you can make them pay you as a part of their marketing budget. They have it. They have money for lessons for teachers. They have it. Get your money. I do this for money so I can take care of my kids so we can have an abundant life. It would be lit if you and be love did a duo. I love be love life, but I say our content don't align. Like I love her. I'm a huge fan, but I don't really do mukbangs. I don't really see me doing mukbangs. Y'all say y'all liking them, but I don't really see me doing them. But I love be love. Like when it comes to YouTube inspiration, my top three YouTube inspirations would be just inspirationally. Like we don't even have to do the same kind of content. It would be be love's life. CJ so cool because my kids love him. My oldest son especially used to love CJ so cool and we love his work ethic. And then the Prince family, I love their work ethic. Those would be my top three as far as amazing work ethic, amazing success stories. Those three. CJ so cool. This man grew up in foster care at one point. Prince family, similar question, a uh, similar situation. They don't been evicted. They don't been homeless. And look at their success now. They're millionaires. They're millionaire, seven-figure content creators. So I love them for that. Be Love Life became a millionaire in nine months of doing YouTube. Told people it's possible. Now she really making it. She been made it. She been a millionaire. People went from loving her. And then when she started upgrading her lifestyle, her husband got the jewelry. She got the big crab chain. They got the big house. They got the uh nice cars what she got she just got what a bentley she got a bunch of nice cars now when she upgraded her lifestyle people started hating on her and that's one thing i've learned so for all of the upcoming content creators if you don't want to deal with the part of the hate when you start to elevate and they start to hate on you if you don't want to have to deal with it just don't ever show them that you elevated elevate privately maybe you stay in this place i'm gonna always stay in this little raggedy kitchen I ain't going to let them know I'm making a big bag, a big bank. And then, you know, when you move up, you keep that stuff private. Keep the wins private. Then you probably wouldn't go through so much hate. Similar with Latrice Allen. I like the real comedian. Latrice Allen, she made $1.5 million last year on Facebook by herself. Just Facebook as a content creator. Black woman from the hood. Multiple kids. Multiple baby daddies. $1.5 five million dollars now our content might not be the same we do two completely tight different types of content however amazing work ethic this lady go live almost every day at least she used to multiple times a day amazing work ethic right and she's showing women of color women with multiple baby daddies women who kind of funny what's possible on facebook i don't know no other black woman on facebook who has said i made 1.5 million dollars and not only will i teach you this but i will also give you a shout out if you want to pay for a shout out you know so i don't i don't understand i do now but i still really don't because that's not in me i don't understand like what people get out of trying to bring them back down why y'all want us to come back down when y'all can come back up, they're showing you that it's possible. If they could do it, you could do it. So that's how I look at them. My son told me, mommy, you just as smart as CJ so cool. You just as awesome as CJ so cool. If CJ so cool could be a millionaire, you could be a millionaire. And here I am today striving to be a multi-millionaire. I want to have me $2 million months every single month. And it's going to happen because I'm going to apply the work ethic. It's not going to just be me sitting talking about it. I'm going to do the work. Right now, I'm live on like six different Facebook pages, three YouTube channels, and I'm live. You know, who going to outwork Peach? <laughs> I'm going to work for the money. That's okay. Big bad, big bang. Peach, thanks for showing us away. My pleasure. I'm trying to read y'all comments. I should have put on my glasses. I think they're in the room. I listen to everything you're saying, girl. I just went and did me another reel. I know that's right. Don't underestimate the Peach. <laughs> Right. Yeah, the real comedian Latrice Allen. She been in my comments uh sometimes. She was just talking on one of my lives the other night when I was live in the casino. She came over and she was talking and she left a comment. Uh I'm gonna start doing content creator events and when I do them, my first guest speaker, I'm gonna reach out to her just so she can come and show like what's possible on Facebook. And then even when you get hate guys, you gotta keep going. 
you got to keep going because the possibilities with this content creation stuff is limitless. Please verify your cash app. My cash app is dollar sign. This is Peach. I'm going to drop them in the chat. Hold on, guys. Uh, Messenger. Facebook. Let me go on my live. It's a lot of fake cash apps for me. Mine is dollar sign. The letter T is in Tom. H is in Hector. I is in Isaac. S is in Sam, I is in Isaac, S is in Sam, P is in Peaches, E is in Edward, A is in Apple, C is in Cat, H is in Hector, dollar sign, this is Peach, and I just dropped it, I forgot to drop it in the live, girl, drop it on the live, let's drop it on the live, dollar sign, this is Peach, then we're going to come over here and do the same. Um, shout out to Miss Jennifer Brown. My husband gonna be letting y'all into my Facebook group shortly, so make sure you guys request the group. I'm not gonna send you an invite. You have to request the group, and then let me drop it on my YouTube live. Dollar sign, this is Peach. What if you don't have a Facebook? Can you still do Reels? No. Where are you going to post them at? <laughs> Facebook Reels is just for Facebook. YouTube has YouTube Shorts. Instagram has Instagram Reels. And then TikTok has TikTok. So you got to be on Facebook to post Facebook Reels. Peach, when you get to another level, you get a new devil. Keep moving up. You're awesome. And you will get... And to that million dollar club, you're a strong woman. Thank you, Miss Tracy. Hey, life with Ronnie. Shout out to Nini's way. She said, I came late. Are you going to start selling the YouTube channel? I, oh. My husband and I just talked about that. I have an assistant coming to work for me, one of my little cousins that used to be my assistant before she's currently getting her master's degree. Mm -hmm. But over the summer, she's going to be working for me. So she'll probably be assisting me with audits, keeping me on track to make sure I, I do them. Because for me... I told my husband that today. He was like, you crazy as hell. My YouTube audits are $125, and a lot of people want to buy them, but I have to be in the right state of mind to do them. So if you pay me for a YouTube audit, even though I can get it done in 30 minutes, if my mind frame not right, it's going to take me like three weeks to do it. And you're going to be mad. You're going to be saying, I stole your money and all this stuff, and I ain't got time for that. So to avoid it, right now I'm not accepting any audit clients. When my cousin comes start working for me, it might be next week or the week after next. Um, when she started coming to work for me and she keep me on track, we work really, really well together. Oh my gosh, she's phenomenal. Um, when she comes to work for me, we'll we'll knock them out. She keep me on track. She used to follow me around with a notebook because my mind be all over the place. I don't know. I'm just like that. I think it's a little bit of that undetected ADHD. I be all over the place. I cannot really just focus on one thing, even when I talk. So she used to follow me around. And she'll just have a notebook, just follow me around everywhere. And then I'll be doing something. She'll be like, hey, remember to call, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you got to do this for your baby. Remember, you got like I just need somebody to just literally remind me. Even when it comes to my nanny, that was something I prayed for because my time management skills suck. I would have my kids to school late every day. Time management skills are garbage, right? So with my nanny situation she comes and she gets the kids dressed and she makes sure they're there to school on time all they gotta do is stop by my bed and be like mommy i love you mommy where my phone at you know stuff mm -hmm. like that shout out to miss shayla hall sheila hall for uh paying for facebook reels with peach make sure you stay in your membership request request y'all understand and i'm trying to read everybody comment When my mom come back, we're going to go back live and we're going to be cooking with Peach, a.k.a. Tracy, today. Oh, shout out to y'all for following my mama. Let me look at her followers. Let's see what it's at now. Let me see if she did any work. Because she's like, I've been posting. They be having poor work ethics. Let's see what happened. Don't be like my mama. Don't be the person that go to these folk jobs and get these folks on the job 
a hundred percent and then come home and only give your business your financial freedom the quickest way to wealth is through entrepreneurship not no job through entrepreneurship don't come home and get a job 10 percent, and you gave your own job and you gave the other people job 100 percent. don't spend your whole life building other people's mm -hmm. dreams it's okay some people like that though some of y'all just like the work you want to build other people's dream because it's safe. It's safe. It comes with health benefits. You got a guaranteed paycheck. It comes with some PTO time, some sick time, vacation time. You know, so it's a very safe thing. Entrepreneurship is scary. So I know it's not for everybody. But getting this content creator money right now, we are in what we are calling the content creator gold rush. The gold rush. Don't be when the history books come out. When the history books come out and they say, oh, my God, in 2022, really 2020, in 2020, during the pandemic, the content creator Gold Rush started and it made Peaches McIntyre a multimillionaire and it made the Rush family billionaires and the Prince family this and the people on TikTok became multimillionaires, making 40 million, getting a 40 million brand deal. That's all going to be in the history books when the entrepreneurship content creator stuff changed and your grandbaby gonna be reading this and saying grandma why you didn't do this grandma you mean to tell me like people was really making 50 grand in a month like grandma people was really making one hundred and thirty four thousand dollars in a day like grandma why you ain't trying to make a million like we could have really bought real estate and had it for generations why you didn't get in on this social media gold rush some of y'all kids are phenomenal at editing. They be on TikTok every day. And you just like, get your ass off TikTok. All you do is TikTok. You need to do them books. When, of course, they need to do the books. Like, we need the knowledge. But that TikTok could be their future. They could hire somebody who paid attention to all the books. And they could still be making more money than them. You know what I'm saying? Also, don't diminish your children's dream. I love the way society is right now where you can literally do any fucking thing and make money. Anything and make money. Even one of my Facebook friends was talking about this and I say, dang, that was a lot of people. She was like, my son had said to me one day, like he was super mad because I told him, get off that damn game. All he do is play that game. Playing a game ain't going to make you no money. Da -da -da -da. Get your ass off that game. Even threatening to whoop him about being on his game, on his video game. Now, in today's world, her son kind of resentful towards her. Like, mom, that could have been me. They got gaming tournaments. What well, these people getting into these gaming tournaments and the one to get a million dollars, the one to get a hundred thousand dollars, they got gaming channels making a million dollars a month. It's any way to make money. It's a great time to be alive because you literally could do whatever you want to do, whether it's baking cake cleaning up not only is the maid making the money from cleaning your house but she recording the video cleaning your house making double the money and if she like peach and she on facebook tiktok instagram youtube with it she's making quadruple the money what well, that would be what's that the four four quadruple hold on we got single double triple quad queen she making quadruple is that a word ain't five mean queens like the movie that was on disney queen she making five times the money there we go let's just say it that way she making five times the money shout out to miss uh oh i think that's nashaya is it nisha it's spelled different naisha naisha hunter for paying to join the facebook rules with peach facebook group my son make sure they get their fortnite tournament tournaments exactly and even if they just earning an extra hundred as a kid and then if you do art Man, it's a lady I follow on TikTok. All she do is write in cursive. She go live, she don't talk. She go live and she just write in cursive. Hand, hand cursive is a forgotten, you know, a forgotten thing. I barely know how to write in cursive. And I sit and I watch her and she have anywhere between 1,000 and 3,000 people watching her write in cursive live. Not only that, but then people want to buy their name because they love her handwriting. Can you write a cursive? of me and my children's names and they buy it from her to hang on a wall in cursive no excuses you literally can do anything right now and make money if you stay consistent 
When they laugh at you, stay consistent. When they talk bad about you, stay consistent. When you don't feel like it, stay consistent. Consistency wins in all things. My teenage daughter started my TikTok for my print shop. My business took off once I got the hang of it. I'm so thankful I listened to her. Yes, please listen to your kids. And congratulations to you, Miss Claudia. Listen to your kids. They be knowing my son. Imagine if my son begged me to do YouTube for almost two years before I finally did it. Imagine if I would have did it when CJ So Cool first started when YouTube was easy. I had YouTube years before just for fun. Like, oh, I did a pregnancy YouTube just for memories years ago and quit that. I did my rap YouTube channels and posted my music and quit that. Never knew YouTube was paying a bag until my son told me. And even when he told me, I thought he was stupid. I ain't gonna even lie. I was like, this little boy don't even know what the hell you talking about. They ain't making no money. YouTube ain't making no money. But when I actually sat down and I started watching it and seeing how lives were being transformed and listening to B-Love saying she made a million dollars in nine months, she became a million. Oh, baby, let me really try to do this. It's no excuse, guys. No matter if you fat, skinny, disabled, black, white, Chinese, Puerto Rican. If you finished eighth grade, went to college, dropped out, you a single mom. It don't matter if you got nine baby daddies and 13 kids. It really does not matter. You can do this, guys, but you just have to stay consistent because I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you. You're going to get talked about. They're going to talk about you. So that's when we make sure we have our three things. One, list my three things. Let me see if y'all be listening to me. What's the three things we must have in order to be successful content creators? Three things we must have. Oh, let me send this money because I still ain't sending it. Hold on, guys. Um, All right, I'm texting my sister. Affirmations, consistency. Okay, they said positive affirmations. Go ahead, Miss Claudia, a support group and a mentor. Yay! Miss Claudia is the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes, yeah, so in order to be successful as a content creator, guys, you must make sure you have one positive affirmation because people are going to beat you down. Today alone, people beating on me, all because I said, okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my mentorship program. For the month of June, I'm going to accept five people at $2,500 a person, full payment due up front. Here go people, oh, she thinks she all this and she need to be humble. Oh, how dare she? I would have taught them for free. Oh, that's why you can't make everybody famous. Who does she think she Ain't nobody going to buy that shit. What you meant? 250 people already start talking shit. And I had to just remind myself that I'm worthy of that. I'm worthy of 250. I got people making a hundred grand a month because of me. I got people making eighteen thousand dollars because of me. Twenty grand because of me. An extra ten thousand because of me. Got out the streets because of me. I deserve that money and then some. That ain't enough. Twenty five hundred dollars ain't enough, baby. You'll be a fool not to get this deal. I had to still hype my own stuff up about it. And guess what? It sold. Sold all five seats like this. In less than three hours, all five seats, gone. $2,500 a pop. Who ain't phenomenal? Phenomenal peach, right? Then we have to have our support groups because sometimes people are going to beat on you. They beat on me the other day when I said my son is not getting a job this summer. Like, he 14, he's going to enjoy being a kid. We could buy his stuff, and I don't want him to work. My son, I'm raising entrepreneurship. He's going to be an entrepreneur like his mom, and... If he ever do wants to get a job, he's going to come work for me. That's the goal. That's the plan for his childhood. When he grow up, he can do whatever he want to do. But right now, that's my plan. People are like, oh, you think you all that. I'm unfollowing you. You this, you that. Oh, she needs to humble herself. She's going to lose it all. Oh, how dare she? There's nothing wrong with getting a job. Her snotty, bratty kids. She's a deadbeat mom. She's this, she's that. You know, they start screwing out hate. And that could have got to me that day. It didn't bother me either. I was like, fuck y'all. <laughs> fuck you. Like I said, I said, 
what I said and I'm not taking it back. You know, that's how I felt. But let's say that really got to me. I could have went to my support group and I could have been like, man, listen, everybody's saying blah, 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 blah. Some people in the support group still might not agree. They might say, you know, you are wrong. He does need to get a job because they, they kid got to get a job. So it's a personal, it's like a personal dig at them. When that's not what you're saying. Never did I say you're wrong for your kid getting a job. Never did I say you're broke and I'm above you. Me and my child are above you and we look down at you. I never said that. You took it that way because your, your current situation, that's your situation. But that's not my situation. And I wasn't rubbing it in your face. But if you took it that way, I can't help how you take it. So you were going to your support groups for guidance with that. And then lastly, we have our, lastly, we have our mentors. Let's say you feel too vulnerable. You don't want to expose how you truly feel to anybody. That's when we can pay our best friends for those coaching calls or call our husbands or talk to our parents or hire a different mentor. Somebody who's already loved Dorsey. I love love. Love Dorsey is somebody I can write and be like, love, I need a, I need a mindset call. She gonna be like, bitch, it's five hundred for an hour, five hundred for one hour, and I send her the five hundred, and I can talk to her, and she can give me insight as somebody who is also a social media content creator, somebody who has also come from low income in the hood to being, uh, shit. I think Love might be a millionaire, but I'm gonna say six figure. I think she's a millionaire though, but a six figure earner, you know, making all this money, and she's in the public eye. So she can relate to me in ways that my husband can't and in ways that my best friend can't because they're not at the level that I'm at. They're not doing what I'm doing, but love can. And I value her opinion. She hasn't steered me wrong yet. So I can pay her for those type of coaching sessions. And it's the same thing, bitch. Get your head back in the motherfucking game. Do this. Or she might say, you know what? You could have said that a different way. This is how you handle that. Blah, 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 blah. And give me my guidance. And then I use that information and I keep going. The objective is to keep going. We don't want to stop. I can't snap with this hand, but it looked like I was doing it. Mm, mm. Keep going. Keep moving. Keep, keep going. I hope Rod Wave don't quit doing music. I was just looking at that. Like a little video popped up and it was like Rod Wave is going to quit music. And it was talking about, and he said it in his music. And he talks about um his depression and how music is more in his life. Sometimes I feel like fucking... Like I fucked up my life becoming famous. Gotta watch where I be hanging. Gotta watch what I be saying. Cardi B complaining about being famous. They're both younger than me. I was saying, let me open the door for them. My parents. I would say they still have a lot more living to do. They're both younger than me. They have to learn to not stop. Like, we can't control what people say about us. Unfortunately, we can't. We could, we, could, we could sue them, you know, but other people still gonna talk shit. So we can't control what anybody says about us, right? People got their own mouth, their own opinions, and they say some of the meanest things to hurt us. They forget that even though you may have gotten a little bit more money or even you might have gotten a little bit of fame, that you're still a human with feelings and your feelings are still hurtable. So you're like, I'm sick of this shit. I just quit so everybody can leave me alone. I don't want them to quit because people are never going to leave you alone. People are never going to leave you alone, unfortunately. I've been telling my mama that. I'm like, I just don't understand why people won't leave me alone. I don't bother nobody. They're never going to leave you alone. Don't quit. Do not quit. What you want to do is get more mentally fit. And start preparing your mind for those moments when people start attacking you, you know, and talking about your kids and talking about how you look, etc. But I'm going to leave off this video because we're about to actually do a cooking video. I might come back live. I want to thank you all for watching this video. Shout out to everybody who hit a like and like for your girl. I'll be live in a little bit, I think, or we might just do a recording. Thank you all for watching this video. If you like this video, you know what to do. You know what to do. Go ahead and hit a like you like. Hey, hit a like you like. Hit a like you like for your girl. Thanks for watching.